Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with one personal box for autosave in the chat, Ryan L. 2019-20 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Basketball. And it's from a fresh case as well. There it is. So let's pop this open and we're gonna number all the boxes, generate a number for Ryan and that's the box we're gonna do. That way, you know that all of these personal boxes come from the same case which I think is a huge advantage if you think about it. A lot of times if you just buy a personal box from wherever, unless you see it come out of a fresh case, who knows, Zion could have been pulled already and then you know, you go into thinking that they're gonna get a Zion. See what I mean? Free shipping of course and all cards ship. Ryan Leroy, thank you very much. So let's number these boxes first. So that's a six, not a nine. All right, so you can see right here, one, two, three, written on the left side of the box right here. Then we got seven, eight, nine, right over here, 10, 11, and 12. So you saw those numbers, that way you know it's all from the same case. All right, now let's go back to random, let's go back to the webpage and go to random.org and now we're gonna generate a number right here between one and 12 and that's the box that we're gonna do. Now obviously, uh, as we go deeper into this case, as we run out of boxes, we'll just generate again if we don't get a box. But first one is three. That's the one we're gonna do right here, autosave. Autosave wanted three, six, nine, or 12. Or no, three, six, nine, 11. There it is, box three. So if I pull someone a Zion, which I still think they won't PC it. Um, yeah, I mean, for you, Rex, probably, I mean, we'd probably just do it as like a favor, but no, we don't have a process for that yet. But I think that's one of the plans where we're, once we get the store humming and, and going and then you know, people know where to, we'll, we'll put that Zion in the shop window right here you know, if we pull one. And if you want us to sell it for you, we can, and we'll probably take a small little commission or you'll get, you guys will get break credit or maybe we take commission if you want cash instead. I don't know, anyway. Put it out there in the shop and some of those rich Manhattan beach folk can come down and maybe they want to add that Zion to their PC, their personal collection. And then we'll make the sale right inside the shop. And there you go. And not give away that money to eBay, Rex. Right? That's what I'm looking forward to, folks. This is going to be great for everyone else, too. For, for you. For you who are who have been Jaspi customers and whatnot, we can pull you a big hit. We can eventually put it into the shop. I, you know, it may take a little bit longer, but guess what? You, you know, we'll be able to set a price, get it in the hands of someone who's like a real flesh and blood human being, you know, and we don't have to pay eBay any of those fees. Yeah, but if we pull the Zion out because the shipping worries you, I mean, if we pull a Zion for Ryan, he's in Vegas, so we'll just make him drive out here or fly out here. He should fly out here with the cost of that Zion and then pick up and pick up the Zion and then off he goes. If we had to ship it for something like that, um, we've pulled like really high value Connor McDavid's from like Cup Hockey. What have we done with those? A lot of times we'll overnight it like UPS overnight, FedEx overnight, or something like that, just so it doesn't go through the, the labyrinth of the US postal system. Just go through a different labyrinth. <laughs> All right, Ryan, we've got six autographs per box on average. Good luck, man, here we go. Obviously everything ships, so you'll get all the um, Zion inserts as well, if any. 
There's Blake Griffin, draft ticket to 99. And your first autograph is Jalen Horde. Oh, gallon loss is no no. What inning? Rex, yeah, if you if you get a fifty thousand dollar card, I feel like if someone gets like a ten thousand dollar card, fly out to Jaspies, pick it up. I think we have a nice autograph coming up, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that guy, but it's the other guy from Duke. It's Cam Reddish, school colors autograph. Nice. One out seventh single by Machado. Gotcha. Thanks, Chad. That's a great hit right there. Cam Reddish. What was he number five, fifth overall pick? Tenth overall pick by the Atlanta Hawks. Man, Duke had so Duke had three players in the top ten. Next autograph is nice too. I think there's a mojo refractor and contenders optic design. Eric Paschal. And that's 13 out of 15, Ryan. Nice. Where did he, did he get drafted? He did. Second rounder by the uh, Warriors. I don't know. Maybe we'll see him. He's a power forward. Maybe we'll see him in action. They lost a forward. They could use a forward, right? The Warriors might see him in action. There must be just like an imperceptible space between the auto and the cards because when I pick it up there's the auto right there it's kind of weird the autograph is 56 out of 99 Carson Edwards Carson Edwards also a second round pick 33rd overall so early second round going to the Sixers in a pick that was from Cleveland via New York and Orlando that was traded to Boston. I wonder if, uh, see there's the auto again. I, I wonder if there's like someone who, um, so actually, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Carson Edwards is a Celtic. He was traded to Boston. I wonder, you guys think that there's like one person that's like, that's making like $30,000, like $40,000 a year just to keep track of all the different trades in the NBA? You think there's like some kid just fresh out of college who's like a econ major or something like that or like stats guy or something like that or math guy and they just pay him $40,000 a year just to keep track of all the different moves in the NBA? For the G for the front office, I feel like there probably is. Like, like he's probably an assistant or something like that to the, whatever, assistant to the assistant GM. There's Terrence Mann, and so they keep track of oh um, they pick that that goes to that. Someone in the league office has to do it too. That's got to be your Terrence Mann picked by the Clippers, forty eighth overall, kind of middle of the uh, second round. I gotta familiarize myself with all these people as we get into the new basketball season. We got Devin Booker. That's to 15, that's nice. Five out of 15 season ticket. And behind him is Tyus Battle. College ticket autograph. For group breaks, ladies and gentlemen, we're going by groupbreakchecklist.com, just FYI. 
think Tyus was undrafted, but I think but still ended up on a team. No, still undrafted, actually. Still not on a team? Ah, he signed an Exhibit 10 contract with uh, the Timberwolves, so he's in their organization. And I think that's it. Auto save. Nice. We got this cool colors autograph, Cam Reddish, and some other nice lower numbered cards and whatnot. So pretty good. You got the optic card too, which I thought was really nice. Yeah, a pretty good box. Folks, we've got 11 more left in here. Go and get it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Free shipping, personal box, fresh case, etc., etc. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Ryan. Bye.